Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, Carmelite, 1897, Lisieux, Calvados. Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus was born in Alencon, France. Her parents were estimable people, well known for their piety and their love of God. From her earliest childhood, endowed by a special grace of the Holy Ghost, she yearned to enter the religious life. She promised God with the utmost sincerity that she would deny him nothing he might ask of her. She kept this promise faithfully to the end of her life, although she had to suffer a great deal to keep it. Her mother died when Teresa was but five years old. From then on the child committed herself to the providence of God, under the vigilant care of a most tender father and her elder sisters. Under their teaching Teresa raced as gaily strong as a young giant along a way of perfection. At the age of nine she was sent to school at Lisieux to the Benedictine nuns, where she made remarkable progress in her knowledge of divine things. In her tenth year she was ill for a long time of a serious and mysterious malady. From this as she herself tells she was delivered only by the power of God himself, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who appeared to her with a smiling countenance, and to whom under the title of Our Lady of Victories, she was constantly making novenas. Filled with angelic fervor she prepared herself at this time with the utmost care to receive Christ in the sacred banquet of her first Holy Communion. After being refreshed for the first time with the Eucharistic bread Teresa seemed to develop an insatiable hunger for the celestial food. Then as if by inspiration, she asked Jesus to turn all her earthly consolation into bitterness. After that she burned with a most tender love for Christ the Lord and for His Church. More than anything in the world she wanted to enter the order of the disqualified Carmelites, where by self-denial and self-sacrifice she might assist priests, missionaries and the whole church, and so gain innumerable souls for Jesus Christ. All this she promised God would do for her, even when apparently she slay at the point of death. Her extreme youth was an obstacle which hindered her entrance upon the religious life. Even this she overcame by her incredible courage of soul. She entered Carmel at Lisezu happily at the age of fifteen. There, God fashioned the heart of Teresa in a marvelous way, teaching in her to ascend to him step by step. Imitating the hidden life of the Virgin Mary like a well-watered garden she bore flowers of every virtue, especially an abiding love of God and neighbor. That she might please the Most High God to greater degree, when she read in sacred scriptures the warning, Whoever is a little one, let him come to me she determined to be a little one in spirit. As such she consecrated herself forever with childlike confidence to God. Her most loving father. The way of spiritual childhood. Following the teachings of the gospel, she taught to others, especially, to the novices who training in the pursuit of religious virtues she undertook in obedience to her superiors. Overflowing with apostolic zeal she pointed out to a world filled with pride and a love of vanities the simple way of the Gospels. Meanwhile Jesus, her spouse, inflamed her with a desire to suffer both in soul and in body. Moreover, perceiving that the love of God was everywhere rejected, she became filled with grief and two years before her death, offered herself as a victim of love to the merciful God. She writes she was then wounded by a flame of fire from heaven, whereupon she became consumed by love, wrapped as it were in ecstasy repeating over and over again the fervent words, My God I love thee, she passed on to her spouse on September 30, 1897, at the age of 24 years. As she was dying she promised that she would let fall upon earth a ceaseless shower of roses. This promise she has indeed fulfilled in heaven and her shower of roses has continued to this very day. The sovereign pontiff, Pius XI, added her name to the virgins declared blessed and two years later, at the time of the great jubilee, listed her among the saints. He also appointed and declared her patroness of all the missions. O Ramos! O, Lord, who has said unless you become as little children you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven, grant we beseech thee, that we may so follow the holy virgin Teresa, in humility and simplicity of heart, that we may attain to an everlasting reward. Qui vivis, et regnus, cum Deo patris in unitare spiritus sancti, Amen.